Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial that will teach you how to add new upgrade technology to Hearts of Iron 4. Now before I begin this tutorial I want to show you the end result of what we're going to create. So we're going to create a small upgrade for the infantry weapons. So if you see here right after the fourth upgrade we have our minigun technology that will start in 1945. So for Germany it's going to call to be called the Hitler minigun and for all other countries it will be called just minigun technology. Let's get to it. As with all other tutorials and lessons, the first thing that we need to do is to create our mod. So I'll start up Hearts of Iron 4. From here we'll go to mods, mod tools, create mod. We'll call it upgrades. And we'll just give it a tag, click on create mod, and our mod is created. Our next step is to create the folder structure. So we'll go into our mod and we'll open vanilla hearts of iron 4. The first folder we'll need is the common folder. And from here we'll need the technologies folder we have it in here and since we're modifying the infantry technology I'll just copy the infantry file and that's all we need the next one we need is the interface folder and inside the interface folder we'll need the technologies file And now we'll need the GFX folder to add our graphics. Inside of the GFX folder, we'll need the interface folder. And inside of interface, we have technologies as well. Excellent. Now this is only relevant if you're adding new graphics to the game. If you're using existing graphics for your technology, then you can skip this step. And the last folder that we will need is the localization folder. And from here we will need two files. So we will need the equipment equipment dot equipment L English file. And we will need the research L English file as well. Excellent. These are all the files that we will need for our small mod. And let's go to the next step. So we need to create our entry. So we'll go into the file itself, infantry. And now I want to add my upgrade right after this one, after the fourth infantry equipment upgrade. Now to find this entry, you can use the console. So I'll just open the console. To have the console, you'll need to enable debug mode. And if you want to know how to do that, I'll have a link to that in the upper right corner of the screen. And inside the console, we'll type GUI. And once you have these frames appear, what you can do is to click on this technology, hover your mouse over the image. Now the images always have to be named the same as their entries in the file. So if you know the image name, you'll also know the entry name. So in here, if we, if we look here, we'll see that it's called GFX Support Weapons 4. So let me just look for support weapons weapons for and here it is okay now I've opened the search the find window by pressing control F 
All right, so I'll just take this whole entry between this bracket and this closing bracket. So we'll just take this whole thing and I'll make a copy of it and I'll put it right after this one and rename it to minigun. Excellent. Now, when, one very important step that we have to do here is to tell the game that this technology leads to the minigun technology. If we don't do that, the technology will not appear properly, even if you do all the steps after this one. So to do this, we'll need to create something called a path. Now, this one is the last technology in this uh, stream, or whatever you want to call it, this technology mini tree. So it doesn't have a path anymore. But if we look at this one, which is just before it, this one is called Support Weapons 3, it has something called a path, which tells the game that Support Weapons 3, this one, leads to Support Weapons 4. So I'll just take this syntax, I'll copy it, and I'll put it in Support Weapons 4, right above the research cost. Okay, so we'll just put it in here. And we'll tell the game that research that support weapons 4 leads to tech minigun. Excellent. And now the game knows how to link these two things. Now let's go to our minigun. We obviously won't be adding a path here since this is the final technology. And uh, we don't need a path, but if you're adding something after this tech, you will also need to add a path. Now let's change some of these things. So these, these sections actually tell the game which units will have the benefit or the bonuses from this technology. So I'm just going to short this list a bit. I'm going to shorten it. And we'll just give the bonus to mechanized units. And we'll make it quite a big bonus. Okay. I'll keep the research cost the same, but I will change the start year to 1945. So this determines how, uh, what optimal year it is to start this research. Obviously, if you start it before 1945, you will get an appropriate penalty. Now the folder section refers to which folder this tag is located in, right? So this is the infantry folder. This is the support folder, armor, and so on and so forth. So we'll keep it as it is. And the position tells the game where to position our icon for this technology. Now please note that in this example, the X and Y axis are mixed up. So the X actually controls the location on the Y axis and the Y controls location on the X axis. I will show you an example to that to that in a moment. We want it to be at the 1945 location, right? So here you have these indicators which tell the game where to position it on the X, right? Should it be here or here or here? So we'll just put it at 1945. And these things are, con are uh, actually configured at the beginning of the file. So if we'll go into beginning of the file you see that it already tells the game where these locations are set. So it makes it much easier for you to put it in the right place. Let me go back to my minigun entry. Another thing that I wanna do about it is to uh, change these modifiers for the AI. Obviously you can add some of your own, but I'm going to keep it simple. We'll just leave it like this. Now the categories are important if you, for example, have a national focus that improves infantry weapons research or you have a, a company which does those things. So this one tells the game to which category this entry relates. And if you give some research benefits or penalties, it will apply to this one as well. All right, so let me just save this thing. 
And basically this makes our entry complete. So this is all the syntax that we will need to make this thing work. And let me just close this one. I'm going to restart the game just to make sure that my entry shows up. Don't forget to activate the mod once you have created it to see the results. So as you can see, we have our minigun technology in the game already, but it's lacking localization. So the name doesn't show up right and we don't have an image for it. And it's also stuck here between these two tags. So what I want to do is to position it a bit here on the top. So to do that, I'll go back to my minigun entry. And in the position, I'll actually change the X value. Like I said, we're shifting it up, but since these are reversed in this example, I'll have to add it the X value. Okay, so let's uh, do minus one in here. Okay, this is also reversed. So if I want to go up, I'm adding minus, And if I want to go down, I'm adding plus. It's weird, I know, but this is how it works. Once we do that and we save the file, we need to refresh the tech tree. So to do that, I'll open the console and I'll type a command called reload technologies. And now you see that it has shifted here. Good. Now let's take care of the graphics and the localization, All right? So that's our next step. Create the localization. Let's go into our mod localization. And the first thing that I want to do is to create the standard localization, how it will show up for all countries, not just for Germany. So to do that, I'll go to research L English and I will just copy an existing entry. So we know that we have support weapons for. So I'll just take this entry. I will copy it and I will put it at the end of, of the file so I know where to look for it. So we'll put it in here, good. And we'll rename it to minigun and the minigun description. This most badass minigun ever created. Perfect to fit on a secret prototype weapon. Excellent. And now I want to add the entry for Germany. So what I will do here is once again, I'll find the uh, support weapons for but as you can see, it leads me, leads me to a lot of these. So let's shorten this to Germany. And here we are at Support Weapons 4. So let me just copy this one. And we'll call it the Hitler Minigun. Excellent. All right, so we have our localization. Uh, as I said, this file, the equipment L English, is used to give per country localization. So if I want the name to appear different for Germany, I will use this file. All right, so the next one is we need to assign the graphics. So this is only, re only relevant if you're creating new graphics. You have seen that we have added the graphic file in here, but we also need to tell the game that it exists and put an entry for it in the interface file. So technologies. Here I'll search for support weapons for, since I want an existing entry. Excellent. And I'll just add my entry right after that. So we'll call it GFX support web, sorry, we'll call it minigun. Now, please note that you have to keep the medium in here because t that tells the game 
that the background for this entry is going to be this small square. And obviously the gray one when it's not available and the green one when the technology has been researched. So this is the purpose of this underlying medium. And our uh, file is called minigun. Okay, so this tells the game where the file is located and the name of the file. And that's it, basically we're done. So we'll need to test in game. So let me just relaunch the game again. All right, so let's open the tech tree. And as you can see, we have our minigun, but you will notice that it's only called a minigun. It's not called the Hitler minigun. Now let's see what went wrong in the files. So Germany support weapons. This is why it happened because I didn't change the name to Germany minigun. Okay. So now it will be fine. Now it will be called the Hitler minigun. Now I just want to give it a small test just to make sure that it's researched correctly and that it works. And I obviously don't want to wait for all these texts to get researched. So again, I'm going to use the console. And in the console, I'm going to use a command called research on icon click, which will give me instant research once I click the icon. So this one's done, 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 and done. And we have our minigun technology researched. Excellent. So that is all guys. This is all about adding the upgrades in the tech tree. I will have a separate lesson about creating unit entries in the tech tree, which is a bit more complicated. That is why it's not covered in this tutorial. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial or lesson on the iron workshop. Thank you for watching. Bye.